Hi, this is me, Jane of Teach Talk, and I'm officially a young adult. In Adult Talk, we are going to talk about some tips and ways on how we can hopefully become mature, stable, and successful young adults. The Science and Technology Regional Alliance of Universities for National Development is the seventh out of seven DOFT scholarships that you can avail as a master's or doctoral student. But before we proceed, let's have a quick overview or list of the DOST scholarships that you may check out later. We have discussed the ASTH RDP NSC Scholarship, CBPS ME Scholarship, ERDT Scholarship, DOST Foreign Graduate Scholarship Program, University of Alberta S&T Graduate Scholarship Program, Phil France DOST Fellowship Program, and then this one, the Strand Program. The Strand Program offers scholarships for the master's and doctoral degrees in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics courses, including science and mathematics education under the Science and Technology Regional Alliance of Universities for National Development. Meron tayong dalawang programs under STRAND. STRAND 1 aims to strengthen the faculty profile of the universities by granting scholarships for their faculty members to study in the master's or doctoral degrees. The scholar may enroll or pursue graduate studies in any of the member universities, for example, Palawan State University, Cagayan State University, and Eastern Visayas State University. In Strand 2, the scholar may enroll in Batangas State University with these programs. Central Mindanao University Mariano Marcos State University Mindanao State University in Marawi City Nueva Vizcaya State University St. Louis University University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, Cagayan de Oro City, and University of Southeastern Philippines. What are the qualifications to avail and apply for this scholarship? In the Science and Technology Regional Alliance of Universities for National Development, you need to be a Filipino citizen not more than 45 years old at the time of application. An applicant must also be in good health condition and of good moral character. You must seek admission in any of the member universities of the DOST SEI Graduate Scholarship Consortia and pass the interview and screening procedures. If you are qualified for this scholarship, you need to prepare and submit the following requirements. If you're interested in this scholarship, you need to submit these requirements. An accomplished strand information sheet, the photocopy of your birth certificate, a certified true copy of the official transcript of record, endorsement letters from two former professors in college if you are an MS applicant, and if you are a PhD applicant, you need endorsement letters from two former professors in the MS program. If you are employed, you need to secure a recommendation letter from your employer or the head of agency, and also a permission to take a leave of absence or LOA while on scholarship. Of course, you need to submit a medical certificate as to health status and fitness to study from a licensed physician with his or her PRC license number indicated. 
You must also pass a valid NBI clearance, a letter of admission from the program head of the accepting institution which should include the evaluation sheet, and lastly, an approved program of study. To select the awardees, the university will evaluate the application form and requirements submitted by the applicant. Then, there will be a final screening and selection by the Science Education Institute. And lastly, the DOST will approve and sign the final list of awardees for the STRAND program. If you successfully made it to the list of STRAND scholars, here are the privileges that you will receive. If you have qualified for this scholarship in your master's program, DOST will shoulder the actual tuition and other school fees of your degree. You will also receive a 25,000 monthly stipend, 20,000 per year book allowance. You will also receive a transportation allowance, which is one actual economic class round trip fare per academic year which is given only to those who will study outside their home province. In addition, you will also have a 1 million pesos per year insurance coverage. You will also receive a thesis allowance. If you're having a dry thesis, you will receive 30,000 pesos financial assistance. But if you're having a wet thesis, the OSD will give you 50,000 pesos. On top of that, under the Student Research Support Fund, DOSD will give 200,000 pesos. If you have qualified in your doctorate program, DOSD will shoulder the actual tuition and other school fees. And you will receive 33,000 pesos stipend for every month. In addition, you will also have a book allowance which is 20,000 pesos per year. DOSD will pay for the actual transportation allowance, which is one actual economy class round trip fare per academic year, which is given only to those who will study outside their home province. Scholars are also given a 1 million pesos per year insurance coverage, and when they write their dissertation, they will receive 60,000 pesos for a dry dissertation and 100,000 pesos for a wet dissertation. Just like the Master Al, the Strand Scholar in the PhD program will receive a Student Research Support Fund of 475,000 pesos. That ends our adult talk about the Strand program. For more information, please check the official site of DOST, sei.dost.gov.ph. Adult talk ends here. We know adulting is tough. But let's add a talk about it. Bye!